Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, Karibu sana. My name is Devan Sogono and this is Devan Empire. Hoping you're doing well from right where you're watching us from because this is that particular channel that gives you the best of all contents that you can't find anywhere else. It's been a moment, it's been a while since I last posted a video here. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. But um, it was not intentional. The main reason why I haven't been posting videos is because there are so many things that have been going around my life and uh, my family and behind the scenes that I didn't feel necessary sharing with you. But then, whom am I not to give you the information that you need to know? Now, about three weeks ago, we had a funeral of a cousin of mine who died in water after drowning and my family went to bury him. And after the burials, many of my relatives, I don't know how many other people outside there, but I'm speaking about my relatives because those are the people who are close to me and I'm close to and I know their situation and circumstances afterwards. So after this funeral, many of my relatives began developing fever, coughs, common flus and what and what. And after a short while, it became so severe and uh, most of them after going to hospital to seek for medical attention they realized it was covid 19. so as we speak right now uh, it is now actually three weeks i think two weeks this cat now you wanna say hi <laughs> all right sorry for the interruption most of them have been in different hospitals trying to, you know, get medication uh, pertaining their health situation as at now. Most of them have been fighting for their health in different hospitals. And let me tell you something, guys. A few days ago, actually on the first of um, this new month, uh, there were holidays. Madaraka holidays in Kisumu where p the president was there and the stadium was so, so Field. and at that time people were not practicing anything to do with social distancing no one was taking precautions and so the COVID-19 virus spread so fast and so easily among the people and right now as we speak I'm just seeing a lockdown I'm smelling a lockdown in Kisumu County because the hospitals are full the infection rates are high many people are sick people can't access oxygen people are dying in these hospitals it's so bad so covid 19 is the rise right now in kenya again and this third wave bro you don't want to catch it and uh, on that same line i also developed some cold at some moment i thought it was covid but then i don't know whether it is covid or not covid but i've been coughing and i've also been having a running nose loss of appetite and I'm just moody, like I don't want to shoot video. When I put on that mask, I run out of air. Like I can't breathe well in that mask. But then, I'm always that guy who never thinks negatively. So I have actually, it is not COVID. Let me say so, it's not COVID. Because if it was COVID, it, the, you know, the symptoms would be so severe. And maybe, let me not talk too much. Because last time when I contracted COVID, I was asymptomatic. So I never showed any signs. I would never felt sick at all. You know, there are those people who contract this disease and get healed without any uh, medication because they are asymptomatic. When you show symptoms, then it means uh, you are symptomatic to the virus, meaning this virus is stronger than you. When you are asymptomatic, it means your body fights on your behalf. You are, you know, the white blood cells, I think so. I don't know. I don't know much about biology. I was sleeping in class when the teacher was teaching biology. Sorry, Mr. Kitchen, don't watch this video. Now, many things, many things. Let me take you out of that sad, you know, update. Now, I've been making some artwork. Let me show you. Let me show you. I've been doing this. Do you love this? Wow. Now, I've been creating these things. Uh, there are uh, frames, uh, portraits for, uh, you know, for the wall. I don't know how to call them. What is the English name? You see, like, for example, these ones that are here. This one says, be kind, 
stay humble and work hard uh, i am somebody who really appreciates arts and uh, i really love arts and uh, that is why i love seeing art, good artwork and lots of artwork around my life so i've been creating this ones and to, uh, you see and this ones if you compare this and the ones on the wall here this ones are on a wooden frame and uh, they have a glass on them but this ones are different the case here is different if you see this one for example let me take this one it says think outside the box this one is a box this is just a box a carton and then this is a paper that uh, i printed after designing so i first designed on adobe premiere pro then i went and bought a box you see these boxes i cut them into a4 sizes this is just a normal carton and then i printed this uh, you know this paper so i still have more left here as you can see this is all about arts so they have quotes here that i am going to make i don't know whether to show you or not i actually never finished making this ones because i ran out of uh, you know the, this uh cello tape that i was using to make the frames so as uh, the life of a youtuber involves this you create take risks and live your passion that is the life of a youtuber basically these ones are just some quotes and pieces of advice about life according to how i view life people come and go the best will stay anyone who has stayed or lived with people can relate to what i'm talking about here this one says always work hard and be nice to people this is always my motto and my logo and my quote always work hard and be nice to people in a normal life people always work hard but after they've achieved what they've been looking for they stop being nice to people i think this level is better so if i put it here like this and then it's supposed to stick there so it says create take risk and live your passion that is basically the secret of being a great youtuber personally i create i never take risks and that is why i don't leave my passion but i want to change that notion it's still early in the morning my nose is so blocked I need to get medication for this because now this is the fourth day since I contracted this common uh, common cold. Do we call it common cold or common flu? One of the two. So uh, let me see what I can do with my life before I die of hunger. Chakula ni muhimu, brother. To be honest, it is not this way every day. This one happens once in a while, like maybe once in a week. Because most of the time, I don't stay in the house. I'm always at outside hustling here and there, here and there. So it's not always like this. It, don't try to copy the things you see on social media. That is a disclaimer I'm warning you. Because these things that we do here, we only show you what we want you to see. What you don't want you to see behind the scenes, we don't show you. Like, do we show you when we, we sleep hungry? We don't show you. Do we always show you when we are licking sufurias? We don't show you. But we want to show you while taking tea on a special glass, alum, um, is it aluminium glass? And this plate that is made from which country? China. White. Taking sausages. We don't eat this way every day. This is once for the camera. So don't judge me. Chocolate muhimu. A moment later, I'm done taking breakfast. <clears throat> and so I have to complete making the remaining part of the artworks so that I can see how I can <clears throat> actually pin them on the walls. All right, make sure my hands are not oily. This one says, no one sees how much you do for them but they only see what you do not do <laughs> human beings this one looks a little bit oversized and so we'll have to cut it here 
Where is my pen? My pen, my pen, my pen. <clears throat> and since I don't have a ruler, we improvise. I'll use my national ID to actually cut this line. No, to draw a straight line that I will later cut. <clears throat> Accuracy is very important when it comes to arts. But something again about arts is that you never go wrong. When you miss a particular line, you can create something out of it. You can still become creative and create something out of it. These things are not cut by machine, they're cut by human beings. So the accuracy level sometimes might be a little bit compromised. You cannot be 100% accurate, but the bottom line is that you have to try your best to be very, very accurate. You see? Very, very uh, accurate. That's good. Now this is fine. With arts, your table or your workstation might tend to be so messy too much oily from my eating I've not even washed my hands <clears throat> so I do this uh, do this do this to hold the edges to avoid this paper from moving because it has to be in a straight line so once I've done all this I'm gonna Stick them on the walls. Uh, okay, I have no need for that. So this one, from here to here. And then, push it to the edge of the table, this way. And then put my, oh, you have to be very, very careful. Make sure it's balanced. Voila, that way, and then you turn it round and close these other edges. All right, this way, you turn it round and do it again on this other side. And the procedure is the same, my dear people. Ready? <clears throat> Terry, why are you are you looking at me that way? <clears throat> the fall down. Terry is my cat. Two hours later. So the next step is uh, now to pin them on the walls because I'm already done <clears throat> making them. So what I'll do, I cut a small piece of this tape and then i mix it this way uh, and then i stick it here this is temporary so i do here here and here and then i put this one mm, should it be up a little okay here is fine voila that is just enough and then i put another one uh, the other one says always work hard and be nice to people that is a flower so i repeat the procedure actually no yeah let me do this other one this is think outside the box for think outside the box always think outside the box 
it is just this simple just be careful you put it there the first one there and then you put another one at the center and another one <clears throat> at the bottom now this is a rental this house we stay in is a rental if uh, we have different choices to use uh, if we want to stick these things on the wall but this is temporary rentals when you cause a damage you'll pay for it while living this one says think outside the box this one i'll put it here you make sure they're straight that way is just enough what else so i'm going to do that way for the rest i'm still wondering should i put all of them at the same point or not let me see once i'm done i'm gonna show you here the others these things are so good so if you want to encourage yourself in this world that is full of a lot of negative energy sometimes just write these quotes print them do this and stick them somewhere every time you feel demoralized read them and you'll get encouraged i normally tell the people around me that make your house a home make your house a home anytime you get into your house let you find the peace let the peace come naturally when you walk out of the door outside the house there are so many things that we come across the sun burns our skin the cold weather affects our you know our internal organs uh, we meet people who step on our feet who abuse us who insult us we feel so demoralized but the moment you walk back into your house make sure you find the peace and that is only possible if you make your house a home so these are some of the things that you can basically do to make your house a home. A home is where you feel loved, you feel you have all the attention that you need. So let people treat you bad out there. Let the sun burn you, let the rain rain on you out there. But when you get into your house, you have your peace. So even if you have no one to encourage you, take these pieces of papers. Eh? write down uh design something that you love a quote a bible verse that you love put pictures of people that you love stick them on some particular wall or a particular corner every time that you turn around that is what you see and it boosts your soul and spirit you'll thank me later let me do this then i show you the outcome two thousand years later and finally my people it is done and this is how it finally looks like from this end all the way to the other end you see it looks beautiful now uh the view that i've placed on my camera is for you to see everything so this is basically my workstation as you see it this is where I sit and edit. My computer is basically placed or stationed here, just close to where I sleep. This is my bed. And uh, so I prefer to put all these things in my room close to my office and the bedroom where I spend most of my time. Because what is most important is peace. Up there is the name of my YouTube channel, Divan's Empire, and also the uh, name of my brand that I normally used to serve people this one up here is just a speaker a home theater speaker sony to be precise so with all these things here i feel like i have accomplished something like each and every day when you read them anytime you feel low you'll get your strength uh it's this one says when i was born i was so surprised that i didn't talk for a year and a half if you know you know people come and go the best will stay this one says no one sees how much you do for them they only see what you do not and then this is a banana leaf a banana leaf in africa we grow bananas and bananas are so sweet you can eat them raw or when they arrive 
This one is just a random leaf. I think it's for the pine. I think so. And then this one says, oh, I am sorry. I forgot I only exist when you need something. That is the world. Create, take risk, and leave your passion. This one says, think outside the box. And this one says, you'll see a person's true colors when you are no longer beneficial to them. And finally, the last one that I always use to end my videos, it says, always work hard and be nice to people. With these ones here, my life feels a little bit organized. And therefore, my beautiful people, allow me to end this video now because it's already long and I didn't intend it to be this long. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've loved it. Employment is all about creating something to yourself. Don't wait for the government to employ you. They won't give you jobs or you will die poor. You will die waiting for the government to get, create job opportunities for you. The time is now. Think about something that will help you survive tomorrow so this is one idea that you can actually use you see if i decide that i'm gonna sell all these portraits that i have here each will go for 200 kenyan shillings that is the lowest price you can sell it 200 kenyan shillings and since they're 10 that is equivalent to 2000 kenyan shillings that is equivalent to 20 dollars and you know the money that you used here is not too much i think i've not spent no, I, I've spent more than 200 Kenyan shillings to repair or uh, to prepare all this, but the choice of sale depends on you and where you're selling it. This is the remaining tip. I realize this tip is big. The one we normally buy the 10 yards is normally this way, uh, this size. So meaning if you just buy one complete one like this, this is just enough. And then printing is 10 bob after designing. Um, you just buy a carton, a big and hard carton, and then you just sit down and do this. Nothing comes easy, you have to sweat for it. And until next time, always work hard and be nice to people. This is Divan's empire. End of discussion.